Welcome, everyone, to the Horror Cast. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Ben. What's up, Ben? Hello. All right, Ben, so what do you have for us? Uh, it says that Joan Collins has joined American Horror Story Season 8. Yeah, Radioactive, which is supposed to take place in the future. Uh, I think 2032 or something, where the world is uh, hit with nuclear weapons and it's like everything's radioactive and they got to survive and stuff like that. So it's maybe, you know, a different, um, a different thing for them because they never did one in the future like that. So has Kathy Bates back, a lot of people coming back for American Horror Story. I really thought we were going to have a crossover this season, but I guess it's going to wait until next year. So I don't know. It's something different, you know. I know they're trying to change it up a little bit, so I'm okay with that. And Joan Collins, yeah, that'd be pretty cool seeing her, um, you know, doing uh, roles and stuff. I haven't seen her in ages, so. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, Sugar Treat Studios will be releasing Aged Michael in this year's movie mold. So Michael Myers' mask is aged, so that way, like, they use it in the, in the film. Like, they make a... a mask from like supposed to be like actually aged 30 years or whatever that's an interesting so that's when i it's that's gonna be a uh, cool costume i guess what does it look like does it show or no uh they haven't they haven't released pictures of the mask yet okay i'm just wondering if jamie lee curtis is only going to be like a cameo if she's only going to be in it for a few minutes and then that's it you know like the halloween resurrection where she died she's only in it for like five minutes you know but we'll find out october what else do you have uh, Danny Trejo rides into Rob Zombie's Three from Hell. Okay. He's, you know, we were talking about, like you said, why don't he do Machete in space, which would have been nice uh, with yeah. no Gibson. <laughs> but uh, he's doing The Flash. He's doing a lot of different things. So that's pretty cool. I, I want to see that. What else do we have? Uh Author Steve Alton talks impending the Meg trailers. They're excellent. I guess it's another one of those shark movies. That's a, yeah, but this is supposed to be a big budget shark movie, which this is like uh, their answer to Jaws, I guess. But like, you know, for this time period, this century, um, they're saying it's really spent a lot of money on this. It's really going to be good. So we'll find out. Uh, the guy from Fear the Walking Dead, he left the show to do this movie. Um, the guy, Tra um, Travis, I think it was. So we'll find out about that. And what else do we have? Um, and uh, Quiet Place writers say Cloverfield Connection was briefly considered early on. Yeah, but then they opted out, which is a good thing because, you know, too much Cloverfield in our face right away, right after the paradox. It's just, you know, you, you need to space it out a little bit. And, yes, I'm glad this had nothing to do with Cloverfield. You know, it's a success. It's doing great. And leave that crap out of there, you know. Um, we got Truth to Dare coming out this week. We got the new Purge coming out, which is a prequel to the Purge. It's the first Purge. Um, there's also the Purge TV series that follows the release of this one. Uh, and I believe the TV series will be connected to the prequel um, set about the first Purge. So that I'm interested in seeing. Um, we heard that uh, Sam Raimi is looking to remake The Grudge. Um, got to see Ash vs. Evil Dead yesterday, um, and I sort of see the difference with the episode, more gory, less humor than, you know what I'm saying, like it got to be more like Evil Dead, you know, than everything's a joke, you know? Yeah. So I really enjoyed last night's episode, um, spoilers, by the way, for Ash vs. Evil Dead. It does suck that Kelly died and Candy died, or Brandy, Brandy. Randy died, but I'm sure that they're going to come back to life. Yeah, I, I saw think. The, the preview for next week's episode. Ash is going to kill himself so he can go into the rift and try to rescue them before this Reaper-like creature can get them. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. So, and then he's going to, so he's going to kill himself, go in there, and then come out, and then going to be alive again, right? Something like that. So he's going to kill himself, go in there, and then he's going to be alive again, right? <laughs> I think. Wow, we're a little frozen, guys. Hold on a second. 
Um, the, it, it looks like it's a Reaper creature that's in the void because at the end of the episode, they, during the credits, they played Fear the Reaper by Blue Oyster Cult, which I think sometimes their songs tie into the next episode from the credits. Okay. Okay, so in other words, he has to die, go in in there, and they come out there alive again, right? I yeah, I get there's, and he runs into the dead Dalton guy, too, is telling them to ask to get them out of there quickly before they get. All right, so we're getting close to the end, right? Yep. How many more episodes do we got? Do we know? The, the, episode 8 is next week, so 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, I think 6 more. 6 more? Really? Yeah, but usually 10, 10 or 13. So it's either. Yeah, it. yeah, I think it, I think ten is it though. Yeah. All and right. Star still hasn't said if it's renewed or not. I'm sure they'll announce it. In two weeks. All right, because I know walk. Well, no, this should be this is not the finale, because. Oh yeah, okay, I got it. Because Walking Dead finale is coming out next week, and then they'll probably be the week after the finale. All right, thank you very much, Ben. We're out of here. Yeah. Take care. Bye for now.